here is what is going into my hospital bag. It is recommended that you pack your hospital bag sometime between 35, 37 weeks. I would say start gathering your stuff um, or ordering it if you need to, if you figure out that you need to order things online around 35 weeks so that by 37, no later than 38, you can have your bag packed and ready. So um, I'll start with um, what I'm packing it in. I have always, this is my third baby, and I am having my third C-section. They've all been scheduled C-sections. So um, things may be a little bit different if, you know, you aren't having a C-section or if you know you are, um, or if you have an emergency C-section. But anyway, hopefully that just gives some context. I've always packed my bag in a duffel, but, um, my husband and I both agree that we actually think it might be easier to use a rolling suitcase um, just so that you can have things a little bit better open in the room, you're not digging through things, and um, it's a little easier to bring up to the room and then bring down too. Um, along with that, I am also for the first time using packing cubes because since having my last baby, I've discovered packing cubes and it's just a game changer in general. So that will allow me to easily kind of like unpack at the hospital um, without having to like bring every single thing out of my bag. So um, I am getting all of baby boy's stuff into my bag as well and everything for him is fitting in here. So I'll start with this. Um, so you really don't need a ton for the baby most of everything that you're going to need for the baby, the hospital will provide or should provide. You might want to check with your hospital um, because it depends. So a lot of things for baby are more just fun items or personalized things that you want to bring because they're cute and fun and they make you happy. So we are bringing his little um, announcement tag that we can just write on um, the date, time, weight, and length. Um, so whatever kind of like prop announcement prop you had, I don't think I had anything with my other two girls, so that's not a necessity. Um, but I am bringing a swaddle blanket. This is just a light blanket from Copper Pearl that you can swaddle them up, them up in or and or just use as a blanket along with a matching hat. That might be his announcement photo. I'm not sure. Um, I'm also bringing burp cloths. These are copper pearl as well. I love them because they are so big um, and very absorbent. I am bringing two of those and I also have another one set aside for um, the diaper bag, which I will just keep in the car for the car ride home. Um, also for him, I am bringing a few outfits. Like I said, they can wear hospital stuff mostly and in the very beginning like they do maybe the first day but then if you want to put them in clothes of your own then you can do that i recommend bringing outfits that have the fold over mitten and feet you don't want to bring anything that doesn't have feet because then you need socks and socks don't stay on a baby and i don't i for my first couple babies i brought mittens but you don't need them if you have the fold over ones and the hospital might have mittens too if you need it. So um, I am bringing, I think, three or four newborn sized clothes. Um, but then I'm also bringing just one zero to three month. These are the same ones, just different size. You want to maybe base it on what they're predicting your baby might be like. Um, so if they're small, you can bring mostly newborn stuff, but you do probably want to at least have one option that's a little bit bigger, a zero to three month. Um, I recommend zips or like this one is magnetic, which is great. Um, and if you want any other hats, um, if you're having a girl, you might want to bring bows. Um, I would say three to four, maybe five outfits if your fifth one is like your bigger sized one. Um, but you don't need a ton and five is a little much, honestly, even, but 
Um, I'm also bringing some swaddles. I am bringing three options. Our hospital both times have given us the Halo sleep sack swaddle. So um, I probably don't even need this. They did give it to me last time at the same hospital. So you might want to ask and see if your hospital does provide them. But um, I love, we've always loved the Halo sleep sack swaddles. These are Swaddle Me. I've also always liked these for when they're really little. Um, they're more just like a burrito wrap type swaddle. And then for the first time, I'm trying out the Ollie Swaddle. So I'm just kind of curious. I'm just going to bring it. Um, I may not use it in the hospital, but I am bringing, you know, I would say two to three swaddles. Um, and then I am bringing some pacifiers. Um, a couple of different options to try. The hospital, our hospital has always had these kind. So if you don't have a pacifier with you, it's not a big deal because if you want to offer one to your baby, you can probably have the hospital provide one. Um, but I also have a couple of different options. These are Ryan and Rose and Bibbs brand. Um, so this passy container is from Petunia Pickle Bottom. Um, and that is all I am bringing for baby. I am keeping the diaper bag in the car and in it, I mentioned I'm going to have just one burp claw. Um, I am bringing a car seat cover. This is also from Copper Pearl. Um, because it will be November, so it might be chilly when we leave. I don't think I'll really need that, but I'm gonna keep it in the car. And in the car diaper bag, I'm having two diapers and a small six pack of wipes. Your hospital will likely send you home with all the diapers and the wipes that they had stocked in your room. One, it's part of your like fee when you stay, when you have a hospital stay for the extra supplies and so they can't actually use it on anybody else once it's in your room um so you want to take that stuff they're gonna have you like send it all home with you um so you'll probably come home with a lot of things we've always liked pamper swaddlers and um i use costco kirkland wipes but for the small pack i just have pampers wipes too um but you don't need to bring stocks of diapers and stocks of wipes because your hospital will have it. Um, so that is all for baby. I've never done this, but I think it's a good idea because I'm so far behind on my other kids' baby books, is to bring, you could bring the whole baby book, but mine is a hole punch thing. So I just pulled out some pages um, announcing your arrival, your birth story, and um, hands and footprints. Again, ask your hospital, but most hospitals will do a footprint. They might do it on a separate piece of paper and then I glue it on, tape it on here later. But um, I figured I would just pop these pages out to bring in. You know, in downtime in the hospital, I could write out the story and fill this in um, just while it's fresh in my mind. Um, so I thought that that was a good idea of something that I didn't do before, but I'm doing this time. Okay, so for mom, you wanna have a toiletry bag. I love the idea of a hanging one. This is Vera Bradley because you can just hang it on the hospital door. You don't have to have it like set up in the bathroom. You can hang it on the bathroom door. Um, and so your regular toiletries. Um, I, you know, I use an electric toothbrush, but I'm bringing just a disposable one and a small, you know, you want to get toiletry size stuff so that you can fit as much as possible. Um, and, you know, contacts, glasses, hair ties, clips, you might want to bring like a headband if you, um, I think a headband would be particularly helpful if you are laboring. Like I said, I have a plan C section. Um, so I don't need that really, but you know, toiletry sized stuff, you can either get it or get a container for it. Um, lotion, the hospital's dry, so you might want lotion. 
you know, if you do um, any kind of moisturizer on your face, you definitely want um, chapstick <laughs> to uh, your lips get really, really dry. Um, partially because for a period of time you can't drink anything. Um, and also, again, the hospital is just dry. So I definitely have something for your lips. Um, I am bringing a small thing of dry shampoo. Um, I have regular shampoo and conditioner, but I've, I don't wash my hair, um, all too often, like every three days, usually every four days, maybe even. And, um, with a C-section, taking a sh that first shower can be really kind of miserable. Um, so if I can avoid <laughs> washing my hair and if I feel clean enough, then I won't. But, um... If I feel like I would just feel better washing my hair, then I might. So dry shampoo, I think, is a good idea to just have along with your other stuff. Um, along the same lines, I'm like, I'm bringing in a face mask and my usual like face routine stuff. So I do have to throw some of that in there. Um, you don't feel super clean and super normal after you have a baby, regardless of how you have them. So anything to make you feel just like a little bit better um like i might do a face mask while i'm just sitting there i don't know we'll see um for makeup you don't need to bring any makeup if you don't want to wear any makeup again it's one of those things that's like gonna make me feel a little bit more normal um to just have some on so if you are running low on some of your makeup things just go ahead and restock that and put your what you're running low on in your hospital bag because you don't want to be needing to like grab last minute makeup items or toiletry stuff um so either get travel size things or just go ahead and replace what you have in your stash already to put it in here um along with the whole makeup thing. I've never brought this, but I thought this was a good idea, particularly if you have a C-section. Um, this is like a standing mirror and it actually lights up. <laughs> so you charge it. Um, but it's just like flat, easy to bring. It's not going to take up a lot of space. Like I said, I've never bought that before, so it's not a necessity, but, um, if you have a C-section and if you want to do your makeup, standing at the bathroom counter is it's not something you're going to want to be doing, so you can just prop it up on your bedside um, for that. Again, not required at all. I have a pill container um, for my prenatals, um, my irons, just any kind of like um, things that you are taking, and also stool softeners. The hospital will likely have stool softeners, but trust me, you're gonna wanna be taking them, whether it's from you bringing them or the hospital giving them to you. Um, I've never tried this, but I've heard some good things. After birth, you have contractions where your uterus is contracting back down smaller and it hurts a lot. And then it, it, it hurts more and more with subsequent babies. I'm on my third um, and it was, very painful last time. So I kept it wrapped up because it smells very herbal and pungent. It's called After Ease. After Ease, you can find it on Amazon. Um, and it's droplets that you can add to your water or whatever you're drinking to help ease some of those afterbirth contractions. Um, nipple butter. Your hospital will likely have lanolin, which is fine, which is great. I used that in my first baby, but I love this Earth Mama organic nipple butter, so I am bringing that. A lot of those things, like the hospital will have, if you have a preferred brand of something or you really want to try out one, then bring it along. Um, the same thing goes for um, pads. Your hospital will provide, should provide pads for you. Um, so I'm literally bringing two as like an in the car kind of thing. Um, nursing pads, I use the disposable ones early on. I end up using reusable ones later. Um, but these are Lansinome, 
because whether or not your milk comes in right away or not, um, if you're using nipple butter, which you probably will want to use, um, to avoid, you know, cracked and chapped, all that, this kind of stuff can stain your clothes. So you don't want to get it on your clothes. So whether or not you're actually leaking to use nursing pads or not, you want to have them as a protectant for your clothes. Um, makeup wipes in case you don't feel like washing your face. Again, I may not wash my hair, so I uh, needed a new shower cap, so I bought a second one. And this is like my old one that I've packed and have ready to go, so I don't need to grab anything like that last minute. Um, I'm reading like room pillow spray. Again, not a necessity at all, but um, just something that I love a fresh like bed and Again, you don't feel super fresh staying in the same hospital room for days on end. Um, and so I'm bringing that this time. I don't think I brought any other times, but it's something that I like to have at home. And so I figured I'd like to have it at the hospital too. Um, another thing that your hospital will have, um, but you, again, this is just like a preferential thing, is a... Um, bought a washer bottle. Um, so the ones at the hospital are just like a squeeze bottle that kind of like squeeze up and this is because you don't want to wipe after birth. Um, but I have this Frida mom washer that is a little bit different because it's just at an angle um, that I'm bringing along. I use this more so at home but it might be helpful to have in the hospital as well. Again it's not needed because they will give you a washer bottle. I'm also bringing my Haka pump um, to help with any engorgement that I might have if my milk is coming in um, and if I just feel like I need to get any milk out or want to save any. I'm not bringing my actual pump. Um, if you should need a pump, the hospital has a hospital grade pump that you can use. I have brought it with my other babies. Um, I think I brought it into the hospital room the first time and the second time I left it in the car and I didn't use it either time. Like I said, should you need it, hospital has it, no reason to bring your pump and all the supply parts that go with it. Um, so I'm just bringing the Haka. It is super valuable. All right. Um, clothes for you, for mom. So you starting with underwear, um, the hospital will provide you with the mesh underwear. I personally love the mesh underwear. A lot of people don't, um, but I like it. I'm also trying for the first time this Freedom Mom disposable underwear. I might more so use these at home, but I'm going to try out a pair at the hospital to see if I love it way more than mesh and it's more comfortable, then I'm going to use that. Um, I also have high-waisted underwear that um, I will have one pair there because, again, I'm going to be using disposable stuff a lot. And I'm also bringing these bloomers. These are um, like for postpartum, I wear them in pregnancy, but they're also for postpartum support. They're from BioBay and they help with pelvic support as well as belly support. And I think when those afterbirth contractions are gonna be happening, this will help a lot. So a, a lot of people will use a like belly band, like a Velcro thing to you know not like cinch your waist back to normal make you skinny again but to um help with your posture your belly feels like complete jello after birth no matter the kind of birth you had um and so to help you just like feel like your kind of your insides are not falling out something um to to hold you in a little bit is going to be helpful so um i'm excited to wear these postpartum because I wear them now and I love them already. Um, but something a little bit more like compressive, you may want to have. I have these no slip socks. Um, I ordered these on Amazon. They came in a three pack. 
just comfortable socks, you're considered a risk, a fall hazard um, after you have a baby. And so you want to have no slip socks so that you can walk around the hospital. A lot of people also bring slippers. I'm undecided if I'm bringing slippers or not because I can just walk around in these. Um, but I may want to bring these so that I don't get back into bed after walking around the hospital wearing these. Um, other shoes are flip-flops to wear in the shower. Um, some people just toss them right after or you can wash them. Um, but you definitely don't want to go in the hospital shower barefoot in my opinion. Um, nursing bras. Two or three of them, maybe. I love the Kindred Bravely um, sleep bras. These are the Terry ones. So I am bringing two of those because you can just sleep in them slash wear them throughout the day. And then I'm bringing also Kindred Bravely um, another nursing, like actual nursing bra kind of thing. Um, but these are very comfortable. For clothes, I mostly wear pajamas. Um, so that is what I mostly have packed. You can wear the hospital gown for as long as you want. You know, I, I, the day of my surgery, I wear the hospital gown. Um, and then maybe later on in the day, change. But um, pajamas. So you either want to have some kind of button down pajama. This is from Target. It's called Stars Above Brand. Button down for easy nursing access. Um, this comes with shorts or pants or I personally love for a c-section a nursing gown. This is from Gap. It has the clip gowns. Um, and I like just wearing like a one piece sleeping pajama gown better than a two piece like pants or shorts and top kind of thing. I don't want anything touching my incision really. Um, so I am bringing two of those. For C-sections, I've typically stayed in the hospital two nights um, and like two and a half days. Some people will say three nights. Some people will stay longer. If you don't have a C-section, you may only stay one night. It just depends. So, but I would say two to three um, pajamas like that. I also have a robe to throw on over my pajamas. This is also Target Stars Align. And I do have sleep bottom pants in case I want them. These are Gap Maternity and I love them. I would honestly even wear something like this, like going home from the hospital. Um, nursing tanks, I'm just bringing one. I do have a sleep tank top option like this, a crossover one. This is from Gap. Um, this is also from Gap and this is the clip down one. Pretty much plan to just wear pajamas while I'm there. Um, and I'm only bringing one pair of leggings, maternity leggings. If you have postpartum leggings, you're not going to be ready for those yet. You look and feel six months-ish pregnant um, after birth. So you definitely want to still be in like maternity clothes. So I do have maternity leggings um, that I might wear home, but I also might wear I'm, I'm going to probably throw these in because I really love these. These are from Athleta. They're not maternity, but they um, have a fold over belly thing that I really love. Um, and I will probably wear this home too. This is from Carly Jean Los Angeles, not maternity, but it's got long buttons here and um, it's very comfortable. It feels like pajamas, but it's not. Pete calls it my long. The last thing I'm bringing for me is this over open sweater that I can throw over pajamas. It's kind of like a robe, but I can also wear it um, out of the hospital. This is from Athleta and I love it postpartum because it's long and it has pockets and you can throw it over lounge clothes, pajamas, or clothes, actual clothes. All right, you want a long phone charger, a 10 foot cord, 
This is a weighted one. So if it sits on your bed or your hospital little table next to you and you unplug your phone, it doesn't fall off. This is from Amazon. It's called Native Union is the brand. A weighted long phone charger. I recommend getting a different phone charger than the one that's next to your bed so you have it all packed up and you don't need to remember to pack the phone charger. Um, we are bringing a little sound uh, speaker because sometimes we like to just play like soft music um, as something to have in the background. We also are going to throw in our Roku stick to see if we can plug it into the TV to watch, you know, uh, Netflix or Amazon Prime video or whatever. Uh, we've never brought that before, but I thought it was a good idea. I'm bringing a sound machine. This is an essential for us. <laughs> this is the Hatch sound machine. It's also a nightlight, so it's great. Um, the hospital lights, some of them have to stay on in your room and it's really hard to sleep. Um, I've thought about bringing a face mask to a sleeping mask, but I don't have one of those. But um, so trying to turn off as many lights as you can with still keeping those ones that need to stay on on um and you can have a little night light with a sound machine for white noise we used our phones the first time because i didn't have one with us and this isn't like in my opinion an essential to bring <laughs> with your newborn um i'm also going to throw in my airpods and um pete will probably bring my husband will probably bring his laptop um, another idea that I recently heard to bring was thank you notes. Last time my husband made a list on his phone of the nurses names that cared for us. They switch over every 12 hours. Um, and we wrote them thank you notes after, but I figured why not bring them then, then either he or I can write the thank you notes, like as we experience their care. Um, and it's just kind of a little nice touch again not a necessity but I think something that's really nice um the hospital will have food but the you know cafeterias and things like that close at certain times so you probably want snacks especially um if you're at the hospital during the pandemic so I'm bringing a bunch of kind bars and um beach bar is another favorite kind of bar that I like for both me and my husband any other snacks he want I'm bringing a hydration supplement as well to throw into my water. Um, you also want to bring face masks, again, if you are watching this during the pandemic. I don't really know the situation on if we need to wear masks while we're like in our room, um, but I'm bringing them for sure. Um, other things that you might want to bring is your own towel. The towels at the hospital are really thin and just not very nice. So if that makes you feel a little more like you, then you can. Same thing with your pillow. If you have a pillow that you absolutely love, which I do <laughs> love my Tempur-Pedic one, I also feel like it helps a little bit more with back support. Um, I'm probably bringing that, but bring a pillowcase other than white. This one's like a little bit bluish so that you don't mix your pillow up with the hospital ones or the nurses don't mix it up and you leave it there or like it gets thrown in with their laundry kind of thing um, other than white. I also like to bring my nursing pillow. The hospital will have plenty of pillows that you can prop up for nursing. This is called the My Breast Friend. I also have the Boppy, which I'm keeping at home, but I, I like having them both, one for two levels of the house. But I am bringing the My Breast Friend nursing pillow um, that I like to have with me. And I think that is all. Obviously, my husband will have his bag. He kind of packs his own thing. I might throw some of this stuff in with his if it doesn't fit into my roller bag. Um, but, you know, you definitely want to just have a list of things that you do maybe need to throw in last minute. Um, that, like my glasses, for example, I'll want to throw in those last minute. Um, but as much as you can, get duplicates of things so that you don't need to be running around looking for your phone charger and remembering those, especially if you, you know, are going into spontaneous labor. Um, so I hope that helps. I think that's all that I have. I have my list here. Um, but don't stress if you forget something that you feel like you need. The hospital has the things that you truly need 
need. Um, so I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the um, brands or products and stuff that I showed. But happy packing! <laughs>